All right, time for some overclocking. Today, my friends, I'm overclocking the new AMD Ryzen 5 1600 CPU to 4 GHz. And what most of you probably want to know is, are there any improvements in frame rates when it comes to gaming and, of course, the required CPU voltage? Just like in my main review of this Ryzen 1600, I'm going to use the ASUS Prime X370 Pro motherboard, a board featuring the X370 chipset and a 10-phase VRM power design, while not being all that expensive. But you of course don't necessarily need an X370 board to overclock. The B350 chipset supports it too. Now as always I can't repeat myself often enough, just because my specific chip achieves a certain overclock doesn't mean yours has to. After all it's all about the silicon lottery and every single CPU is different in that regard. But as it seems right now, 4 GHz is what the majority of Ryzen chips seem to be capable of achieving without too much of a hassle. At the time of this video I have updated to the latest BIOS version and to simply achieve 4 GHz I left all the power saving features on, no need to touch those. My RAM is running at 3200 MHz. Make sure whatever frequency you're running at runs stable before doing any overclocking. And then I just use the FID and DID values 160 and 8 respectively to get my CPU target speed to 4 GHz. As a fan of offset voltage I went for that option of course. Went for plus and added 0.14375 volts to the CPU voltage. And that's it. At stock on this Prime X370 Pro by ASUS, my 1600 operates at roughly 1.21 volts according to CPU-Z. When overclocked to 4 GHz, stable, all stress tested several hours with Ada64 and Cinebench, it's 1.406 volts at max. For 24 7 use, I wouldn't recommend this high voltage though. I'd recommend to not exceed the 1.35 volt mark to avoid significantly shortening the chip's lifespan. But I'm just doing it for demonstrational purposes for you guys. So without further ado, any FPS improvements in games at a higher clock speed? What about Ryzen's rendering power? Let's find out, I guess. Nice! To keep this conclusion nice and short, overclocking all in all does lead to some noticeable performance improvements on this Ryzen 5 1600, albeit just in productivity aspects most of the time like video editing, rendering and compression, all that kind of stuff. As for gaming, a 4GHz overclock doesn't seem to do much in a lot of games. 
but in a bunch of games we luckily do seem to see a little bit of an FPS boost. But to be honest, I highly doubt it's worth the hassle of overclocking the CPU just for some frame rates more in-game. The extra boost simply isn't significant enough to make a real difference in the gaming experience. And for the biggest part, improvements are only noticeable at the 1080p resolution, simply due to the fact that my GTX 1070 is a bottleneck at 1440p. However, if I, let's say, had a faster GPU, there'd be a more noticeable gap between stock and overclocked results. Then again, look at how drastically the power consumption increases by bumping up the voltage. My honest opinion, don't overclock just for gaming. If you're looking to unlock a bit more power for rendering, image and video editing, sure, it can definitely be worth it. The temperatures luckily aren't much of a concern and it's relatively easy to keep those under control with a simple AIO liquid cooler or decent air cooler. We have to keep in mind though, for 4 GHz I required a pretty high CPU voltage to get it 100% stable. So I'm sure 3.8 or even 3.9 GHz would have been the sweet spot with a much lower voltage, thus lower power draw and temperatures. Long story short, overclock if you do lots of image and video editing as well as rendering. If you're just gaming, not really worth the hassle and increased power consumption. But these are just my opinions. What about yours? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.